Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nurse Polymath. In this video, I am going to be doing a review on two stethoscopes by Lidman. If you're interested, stick around. So I have two stethoscopes here. One is the Littmann's Cardiology 4 and the other is the Littmann's Classic 3. Now, from the start, this is identified as the Classic Monitoring Stethoscope, where it is this one is described as the Diagnostic Stethoscope. So right out the gate, let me just get that out the way. Let's start with the, the master. Well, it's not the master because there's a master sets of code. But let's start with this. Okay, so this is what the Cardiology 4 looks like in the box. Okay. It has a manual. It had, I don't know why they put a manual in here, but that's nice. We don't need the manual. This is the kit that it comes with. It comes with two of the ear replacements as well as the bell. And this is for the pediatric side because the pediatric side can be used as an open bell. Okay. Now this is 20, 27 inches long. It has a larger bell than the classic stethoscope. It is approximately the bell itself is 60% deeper than the Classic 3, as well as 40% larger than the Classic 3 stethoscope. So that automatically may make your decision in terms of which one you want to purchase. The acoustics, the high frequency is pretty good in this particular stethoscope. And it is easy to clean. You use 70% alcohol to clean it with. It has the soft ear tips that snap in easily without any problems. This particular one has a stainless steel here. It is a non-chill so bell. So that means that when you know how you stick the stethoscope down in people's shirts, they'd be like, ooh, where did you get that from? The refrigerator? So yes, you don't have to really particularly worry about that with this stethoscope. And that's a plus. This again is pretty, it has a little weight to it. Okay. When you put it around your neck, it's not too, it's not too heavy. Okay. Um, so that's that with this one. You also want to keep in mind there's a seven year warranty on this particular one. It does have a, what they identified as a, it has a dual tubing. Okay that enters into this long tubing and into your bell. So that is something that may interest you with this particular stethoscope. Now this, this double tubing does play into how the acoustic is with this particular stethoscope. This is very, the material is a non-natural latex. It's, it's pretty decent for someone who um, may have allergies to latex, I'm guessing. So that's always important to consider. This stethoscope is a hunter green is the color. Now this particular one is discontinued. I purchased this stethoscope some months ago. I believe it was approximately $185 maybe. Um, so again, that's pretty decent with that particular stethoscope. We are going to get into the Classic 3. So this is the Classic 3 Lippmann stethoscope. Again, it is described as a monitoring stethoscope. This particular stethoscope has a five-year warranty in comparison to a seven-year warranty. Right out of the box, this is lighter. That is always nice. The bell on the Classic 3 is smaller, as I mentioned, than the bell on the Cardiology 4. It has soft ear tips as well that you can snap in easily without any problems. This one has a single tubing, which enters into this tubing and enters to the bell. Now, 
if you want to see these side by side, you can automatically see that this tubing is maybe a wee bit smaller. Okay. You can see this one and you can see this one. Okay. This is your cardiology four. And this is the classic three Littmann's stethoscopes. This is also made out of the non natural latex. You also clean this with alcohol, 70% alcohol. It does mention 2% bleach. I wouldn't put bleach on my stethoscope. That's just moi. But this is always something good to consider when you're cleaning your stethoscopes. So again, here we are with this classic stethoscope and this is the Lipman's Classic 3. You also want to keep in mind with this particular one, it's a little bit more pressure sensitive, unlike this one. And it could be because this belt is heavier than this one. You have to apply just a little bit more pressure and it can be made, it could affect your sound as well. So just keep that in mind. And um, I think that's it. Let me just take a listen and see what's going on in here. Let's see, this is... Okay, sounds like I'm alive. Okay, so let's take a listen with the Cardiology 4. Okay, so in my opinion, I think I could hear better with the Cardiology 4 in comparison to the Classic 3. Now, is that because my ears are a little bit more trained? I don't know. But this one seems to have just a little bit more fade to it. However, this is something that I think would be very useful for someone who is in nursing school, who's not trying to spend a lot, a lot of money, because I believe you can get this one under $100 in comparison to this one, which was close to 200 and I think if you're a resident in school, this stethoscope works pretty decent for what you need to listen to. You're listening to, for things that sound abnormal, lung sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds. This will get the job done. Okay. This stethoscope is just a little bit more advanced in terms of the sound. I believe this one is useful for people like myself, who is a family nurse practitioner, PAs and things like that. Be, you know, I mean, it's more expensive. Why spend more money when you could do this for the same thing? I mean, generally you're using this to hear abnormal sounds to report to a provider. Whereas this one, if I'm already a provider, I mean, I mean, I, who am I reporting to other than myself? So this, I believe, is pretty decent for, you know, the price. Um, so anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And again, keep in mind, they're pretty decent stethoscopes. Again, both of them. And this is strictly my opinion. Again, thank you for joining me today. And if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comments below. And if you're interested, subscribe to my channel as well as hit the notification bell and thumb it up if you liked it. And if you have any comments again, please let me know. Thank you again. Bye.